Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple ticket sales system or tour sales system or event sales system with a WooCommerce. As you see, I have four tours here. Here you see the tour date. If I open it up, then the tour date is here. I can choose the package like this. I am able to choose uh, some extras here. I can choose the available tickets. The total price is shown here and here. And I'm going to change the quantity selector to the drop down selector like this one here. Now I'm using the Bloxy team and I'm using the Pro team therefore. So the layout for your team is probably going to be a bit different. But if you're willing to try the Bloxy team, then take a look at the description of the, this video. The link to the Pro is there. It's going to take only 15 or 20 minutes to accomplish all that. So it's not going to be so difficult. Therefore, jump in. Okay, let's start. As you see, I have four regular products here. Three of them are simple products and one is a variable product which two options here. Couple of things to point out before we start customizing things. I'm going to open up the product here. So pay attention that all the products you enter here, they have to be virtual products. Otherwise you have to mess with the shipping and stuff. So this is a variable product. It's a virtual product and the city tour here Mark it as a virtual product. Now, first thing we need to do, we need to add the custom field somewhere here. This way we can add the tour date or dates here. I'm not going to use any fancy plugin for it. I'm just going to use a code snippet. You can find the link to the code snippet in the description of this video. All the snippets I'm going to show you today are shown under this link. So let's go to the plugins and add new and search your code snippets. This allows you to add code snippets to your site without the need to modify the functions PHP file of your team. This means that if you deactivate or switch the team, all those snippets are still there, they are not lost. So install and activate it and then go to snippets and add new. Next one, paste this snippet here, give it a title, custom field in products editing page. Here, Give it a title, for example, tour date. Here goes a placeholder, for example, enter relevant dates and some kind of description. For example, later I'm going to show you where all those things are shown. This part here makes the value to be appear on the single product page in front end. And this part here makes it appear in the archive pages. If you want to change the position of the message, then change this hook here or this hook here where you can find the hooks I'm going to show you right now. Go to Google and search for WooCommerce Visual Hook Guide. And here is a Business Bloomer site. Single product page is here. So if you don't want the message to appear in a place I'm going to show you today, just choose one of those places here. And here is the archive page, same thing. Just choose the position you want to use and, and paste this hook here. Now I'm going to save it and activate it. And next I'm going to go to the products. I'm going to op open up the tours. And as you see, here is a custom field tour date. I'm going to enter the date, for example, June 15 this year. Update, view product, and here is the date. Now about this customization here. I added this class to this message, WooCommerce message, but you can add whatever you want. I just added some random stuff here, save it. And if I refresh a page, there is no styling. I can go and customize it as I want. For example, customize. I'm going to take this class here. Open up the additional CSS. Paste it here. And customize it as I want. Okay. 
and so on. But this time I'm not going to do it. It was just a, an example for you. Therefore, here goes the WooCommerce message again. Now I'm going to go back to the products again and enter dates to the other products also. All done. Now I'm going to go and see how does it look like on the archive pages. I'm going to open up the tours here. And as you see, here is a date I enter for the every tour. Doesn't look any good, therefore I have to customize it a bit. I'm going to open up the customizer, go to the additional CSS, and I'm going to paste this CSS here. This may be different for your team. I'm using the Bloxy team here. Therefore, this CSS code is a bit uh, team related. But you'll get the things going by looking at this code here. So here it goes. Now it seems to me that I would like to add the date down bottom here. Therefore, I'm going to go and grab this hook here, go back to the snippets and paste this one here, save it. And now let's take a look at the tours again. Well, I like it more, therefore it stays there. I'm going to publish it and let's take a look what happens now. It is still a regular product. Therefore, I'm going to tweak it a bit. First things I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this quantity selector here and I'm going to replace it with a drop down selector. In order to do that, I'm going to go to the plugins, add new and search for all in one product quantity for WooCommerce. I'm going to install it and activate it. Now I'm going to go to the WooCommerce and settings, open up the product quantity, enable it. I will not change any settings here except the quantity drop down here. I'm going to enable it and save it. Now if I refresh the page, there is a drop down. But now you ask, why is that important? Well, take a look. Since this hiking tour has limitations to the participants, I'm going to enable the stock management. And this tour is only for 10 people. Therefore, I'm going to update it and view the product. And this way you can select only the amount you actually need. Of course, you don't have to do that, but since I like it, I did it this way. This plugin here allows you to do all kinds of stuff with uh, quantities. For example, you can set the minimum quantity and maximum quantity and so on. The quantity steps and, and so on. If you're interested, then take a look at it. Next thing I would like to do, I would like to point out for every people that I don't have any stock here, but I have uh, tickets here. Therefore, I'm going to change this text here. In order to do that, I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. Give the snippet the title and paste this snippet here. If you want to change the text, then change this text here. Currently, I added here the total tickets available. Only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Go to the product page, refresh it. And there you go, total tickets available. But we have to modify one more thing. For example, if the tour is sold out, stock quantity is zero, then instead of out of stock, which is here, we need to change the text here. So in order to change this text here and the text on the badge, I'm going to go back to the snippets and paste this one here and add the title some modification. Save changes. Uh, one more thing, if you want to change this text here, just do it. So refresh it, sold out here and sold out here. Let's go to the archive page and also as you see sold out here. What else can we do? I don't like the variations drop down here. Therefore, I'm going to customize it a bit. I'm going to go to the plugins and add new and search for 
product variation swatches for WooCommerce. So this one here by Willa Team. I'm gonna install it and activate it. Now there is a menu up here. Lots of stuff here are locked because they offer also a pro version, but I don't care about it. Therefore, I'm gonna open up the variation swatches here and under the general settings, default display type, I'm gonna set it to radio. Save it, refresh the page. And there you go. Now I can customize it a bit. Swatches profile, button design, default styling, for example, default width 400 pixels. And save it. Let's see how does it look like. Yeah, already much better. There you go. Total tickets available 10. Now some other tweaks I'm gonna add a small explanation under the quantity selector. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So go to the snippets, add new, paste this snippet here, give it the title, only run on site front end, save changes and activate, go to the page, refresh it, and there you go, select a number of tickets. Some explanations for a customer. Next one, I'm gonna add a total price below the add to guard button. Once again, go to the snippets, add new, paste this text here, give it a title, only run on site front end, once again, save changes and activate, refresh it, and total price, as you see, if I change the count, the total price changes. Last hack I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose the package, five people, add to cart, all good. Now I'm gonna choose this one, pay attention that I had only 10 tickets available, therefore, let's see what happens if I choose nine. Add to cart, nothing happened because here is an error message. Probably no one knows how to scroll up here, therefore I need to move the position of the error message. I'm gonna move it down here, so it's gonna be visible. So once again, go back to the snippets, add new, and paste these snippets here. I'm gonna give it a title and run on site front end, save changes and activate. I'm gonna go back here, refresh it. So I'm gonna choose the package again. As a reminder, I already have six ski tours on my cart. Therefore, let's see what happens if I choose eight, add to cart. And there you go, here is a message that I, I am unable to add this number of tickets to the cart. Now almost good, but since I'm using the Bloxy team, I can change the layout of the tour. Therefore, I'm gonna go to the customizer. I'm gonna open up the WooCommerce single product and I'm gonna choose layout number two, type two. Or better yet, type four. Yeah, much better. So number of columns, that means images three, on tablets three, and on mobile, I'm gonna show two images. I can change the column spacing or image ratio. For example, this here or this one here. I'm gonna leave it to four to three, or I can reverse it if I want, but I'm gonna leave it as that. And as you see, the description is here, and that to cart is here. I'm gonna publish it, go to the tour page, and it looks awesome. Tour date here, price, also total price here, number of tickets, and so on. Now I think that probably some tours need some add-ons, therefore I'm gonna go to the plugins and add new and I'm gonna search for 
advanced product fields for WooCommerce. This one by Studio Wombat is the one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna install and activate it. Now I'm gonna open up the ski tour here. And under the custom fields, I'm gonna add some fields. For example, read your buttons. Do you need a ski instructor? Options, yes. And flat fee for it is gonna be 100 euros. And no, no price change. And it's gonna be a required field. Nothing else to do here, update it. View product. And there you go. Do you need a ski instructor? Yes. Product total 125 or 165 or much more. And ski instructor 100 euros or no, no additions. So add to cart. Oh, sorry. I already have too much stuff on my cart. Therefore, I'm going to delete them and add it to cart. There you go. Let's see. What do we see on this in the cart? Do you need a ski instructor? It's added. All, re all, all things good. Proceed to checkout. Everything is in place. Let's test it whether add-on appears on the email and order. Place order. Thank you. Your order has been received. Everything is here. Let's go to the orders. Jack Mac has placed an order. Oh, let's open it up. Do you need a ski instructor? Yes. And the same is in the email also. So everything is good. Now, if you want to know how to add the tours category to the menu, then it's simple. Go to the appearance menus, open up the product categories. If it doesn't show up here, then under the screen options, you just check the product categories. So select the tours, add to menu and save it. And as you saw, it wasn't so difficult to create a simple ticket sales system here in a way that you can sell the tickets to the events or, or tours. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then you can thank me by pressing thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. But before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now. It's also full of useful stuff. Meanwhile, take care.